G'day, Tez here. I'm going to do a uh, small review on the Selfie Go. There we go. Now, I bought this a bit over a month ago, maybe two. I've uh, been testing it out. You see there's a sticker on there from where I bought it from, Michael's Electrical uh, in Toowoomba. They're not, they're not paying me to do this uh, review. I, I was only a customer. I walked in, I paid for it. He doesn't even know I'm doing the YouTube. Um, if I walked in there next couple of months, he wouldn't even recognise me. So that's what I have to do with him. Uh, the reason I bought it from there was price. Um, it's about 800 bucks for this. Now it's a uh, phone booster. Uh, and it only works for Telstra phones. So if you got uh, Optus or Vodafone, it won't work on their signal. Same for Telstra. You have to get this registered with Telstra as well as um, soon as you start it up and download the app on your phone. That's the only time you got to basically use the app is um, get this registered and making sure you got the signals um, or the antennas set up in the right spot in your vehicles. It's a uh, just a booster. Uh, it doesn't crack doesn't make signal, doesn't create signal, uh, it picks up the weakest amount of signal um, to a point where your phone doesn't even work um, and it amplifies it and it only amplifies it uh, within your vehicle basically um, and maybe a couple of meters outside. I forgot one day I had it turned on and I was in a bad phone coverage I was talking on the phone, uh, next thing my phone dropped out and I realised I had no signal. Um, yeah, I just walked too far away from, from the antennas. Um, got back, still standing outside, got back next to the door and next thing I got full full signal on my, on my phone and I could continue the phone call. Uh, I won't do an unboxing because I've already unboxed it. But what comes in the box is a heap of pamphlets. Uh, information, warranty cards, um, starter guide, and how you register. Also, uh, to join female and female cords together on the antennas. So that little one there, that's a little adapter. That comes in the box. Uh, don't lose it. Um, goes on to your external aerial antenna. Screws and bits and pieces and stuff where you're going to if you're going to mount it in the vehicle. Uh, one power cord, miles of cord. It's got a uh, little extra earth on this, this one. And a internal aerial. Now this is the internal one. You don't get an external one because there's a range of aerials and not every aerial suitable for your um, vehicle. So it depends what you want. There's magnetic ones, tall ones, short ones. Um, now this one here, get the cord out, is one I got. Now, when I got this one, I wasn't too sure how good the aerial was on the truck. Uh, because that's an old antenna. Now this here by itself is $250, this one. Plus your $800 plus, so you're looking over $1,000 just to boost the signal. Just keep that in mind. Now, if you're going to spend 800 bucks on that, I recommend get the best area you can get. Because it's no use having a an, air, an antenna which is not going to do the job. The one on the truck is uh, pretty good. I wouldn't say it's perfect. That one is a lot better. But I'm going to mount that one on my vehicle and I'm going to keep this as portable so I can switch between my truck and my ute when I need, when I go bush. This only works on 4G and 3G, not 5G. My experience with this uh, it has increased my signal quite well. 
Uh, my runs lately have been from uh, Derby all the way down to Mangandai, um, at the Cubby Station, even further south, down past Moree. Uh, between, you say, between Derby and St George, uh, I was getting forehand signal a good half an hour out of Derby. Uh, then it would drop out, I wouldn't get anything at all. Then about 10 k's, 20 k's out of um, Miney, I'll get a signal. Then 10 k's or 20 k's other side, it would drop out. West Mar the same thing. And St George, it might have got 20 k's before I got signal again. So uh, three, and, three and a half hour drive, so in the road train, nearly four hours. I'll probably have a good half an hour signal at the town um, as I was on the journey and rest of the time there yeah, I had no phone signal. Now it's phone signal 99% of the time all the way down to Miney, same to West Westmar, but it drops out oh, for about half an hour at the most between Westmar and St George which uh, it's closer to St George where it drops out. Now I run um, my phone and my tablet, both work, and I listen to YouTube music. Uh, I've just got a heap of music saved, and I just rock on, listen to rock and roll all the way down. Now it does drop out occasionally, um, but it's only in certain little spots. Um, a lot of places I know if I pull up, which I have done, um, sometimes because you're not moving, you can grab the signal a lot better and it holds on to a lot better, the booster. Um, and like I said, you only need a my mute, be able to pick up a my mute, a little bit of signal with your booster, which you get just about four bars on your phone. And, uh, and it drops out, um, doesn't break up. I've noticed you could be talking on the phone. It doesn't break up. You know how phones break up when you get weaker, weaker signal. You got everything, then you got nothing. Um, so I'm quite surprised how well it does work. Is it worth 800 bucks? Depends what you're doing. Um, if you're one of these people who need have every gadget in your vehicle, um, Help buy two, run one on G, G3 and one on G4. If it makes it hard, buy two. Um, if you're one of those people, if you uh, do a lot of camping and out in bush, yes, um, yeah, it could be quite handy. Um, if you want to stay in contact, if you just want to mount it on your caravan or wherever on your vehicle. Um, Yes, by all means, it's I recommend that. Um, if you do a lot of driving in the bush, like truck driving, like I do, um, especially some days I feel like I'm on the phone half the day. Uh, some days it's more of a curse. <laughs> it's yeah, I recommend it. Then, if you're only going bush once a year and you desperately need phone signal. Get a grip, you're missing the point of going camping. Um, yeah, but if you go a lot of camping, um, like a retiree, um, or you spend a number of weekends away, um, yes, it's recommended. Uh, but there is a limit, like I said, you need a, phone, uh, a, ta a signal from a tower. Um, you probably get 20 k's extra in your travel, if not 30 k's. Um, I've noticed sometimes, because I've watched the uh, the little app on the phone, uh, when you're going over ridges, top of hills, it most likely pick up, picks up signal then, when you get down to the bottom, it doesn't. But the time I'm going over the hill, it's enough to download a song. Um, so it is, is it, it is a good piece of equipment, but it's not uh, all and end all. Um, like I said, get a decent aerial. Uh, 
anything you can mount to a roof or at least a bull bar, highly recommended. Um, yeah, you got to work that out for yourself. I'm not going to say um, get this aerial because this aerial won't work for everyone. I've got a tall one to go on the mirror on the truck or um, on the bull bar of my vehicle. Now, the only thing we've got to do when you're setting it up, you got to keep the main aerial at a different level to this one. Um, I've been running the ones on the mirrors and I've been just laying this on the floor. I'll show you a little clip uh, where I've been setting this up. And all I've done is plug it in and just left it on the floor of a truck under the dash. It sits there out of the way um, and I'll just run this to the opposite side. Later I'll probably mount it a lot better and have it run around the back of the seat somewhere and hidden out the way. Uh, it's probably the only thing you've got to keep in mind of when you're setting it up is where you're going to put it. Um, basically you set it up, plug it in, get it registered, make sure yeah, aerials are not interfering with each other and you're good to, good to go. Like, you don't have to a activate your phone every time you want to use it. Um, you basically can almost delete the app off your phone once you've got it registered. You don't need the, don't need your phone with that, with this at all. Um, and you can have multiple devices. Uh, someone said up to 20, but I reckon that'd be pushing it pretty well. Uh, especially if some, a couple of them are downloading Facebook and watching videos and all this. So, you know, you can run it. A uh, few, everyone can run their, if, if a car full of people, you can run all, all their phones off of it, plus tablets and internet for your computer and it's not racist at all. So it's quite, it's quite handy. Just when you're setting it up with your, uh, the app on the phone, you can set this to go 3G only. 4G only, or uh, automatic between the two, which is the better signal at the time. Most times I find it does get a bit upset switching between 3 and 4G because it will uh, knock your phone off um, with the signal because you're changing signals between 3 and 4. Sometimes I think I'm better off staying on 3G all the time, but it's not here or there. Um, and also sometimes your phone might uh, listen to this, it will go straight off the tear. So that's my uh, review on this. You work it out for yourself if, if you think it's um, worth $800 or $900, depends where you, when and where, or if there's a special on. Stay safe on the roads please, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.